Welcome to a demo of SelfSmart POS. I will log in as a user with my defined password. You can have an unlimited number of users for SelfSmart POS. This is the home screen. 90% of your time will be spent on the home screen. As you can tell from the top left, we have $878 worth of sale for this day. However, I have $2,000 plus in my register. The red light, green light, and yellow light very high-end feature of SelfSmart POS. The green light tells me that I have broken even for the day. I did a great job. I have paid all the expenses that I have loaded into the system and I'm now in profit mode. When you load SelfSmart for the first time, it loads all inventory and gives it a value. Now over time you can see if your inventory and your capital is growing or depleting. It also tells you what time the store was opened. Every day it's recorded as well as what time the store closed. This way you can keep track of what times and how efficient your employees are. It tells me what users logged in, and this is where I log out or log in from, that I have an unlimited number of days remaining for my license. One of the greatest features of SellSmart POS is that even though an employee can go into the system and delete a transaction, we keep a history of all transactions, even the deleted ones, in SellSmart POS. This is the bill payment window, where you can play monthly, flex pay, or Metro PCS or any other wireless bills. We have an area for web quick links where you can customize 10 URLs that you like to jump to in a browser of your choice. For example, I want to jump to Boost Mobile activation page. It will open the Chrome browser and directly jump to that page so I don't have to go and open a browser or type the URL and etc. And all this can be customized to your liking. Outside of the quick links, we have hotkeys where you have 12 programmable buttons for those items that you sell quite often. For example, I sell $10 T-Mobile cards very, quite often throughout the day. All I have to do is click on the button once. It asks me if I'd like to add the transaction to the register. I hit yes and the sale is performed. As simple as that. SellSmart POS allows you to enter items in one of three ways. You can either scan a barcode or IMEI using a scanner. You can enter an item code or you can look up item by its name. I want to sell something related to iPhone. I'm a new employee so I do not know the code. I hit, I type iPhone and I hit enter and I get a long list of all products with iPhone in its name. I can filter this list further by typing charger in the search box. It will filter the list to all iPhone related products with charger in the name. I can see from this list that three of my five items are sold out so I have no inventory for them. I only have house charger or car phone, car charger. If I want to sell the car charger, all I have to do is hit the basket button and boom, the sale is there loaded into my register. I can add or not add tags on the fly. If the customer offers me $20, I will note that down and hit enter and save the transaction and SellSmart POS tells me that I have to give them $5 in change. By default, we have set it so you do not have to print receipts. Customers do not take receipts and we want to save you paper and we want to help the environment. However, we have a button that will go to the last receipt in case the customer wants it. Let's go and print our last receipt. And I will show you an image of how the receipt looks. Here is a customizable receipt with the barcode. Now if you've been to stores before such as Macy's and Bloomingdale's, just by scanning this receipt it will load all the information related to that receipt in history. Let's leave the receipt and I will. Sh these are help buttons where you can go through phone list, your drawer, your last receipt and other items. Thank you so much for watching our brief demo on SellSmart POS. Please contact us for more information 